vulnerability, courage, and an incredible amount of strength are the characteristics possessed by the phenomenal woman that is Misty Copeland. Professional black ballerinas have faced multiple racial controversies since being admitted to ballet companies. Raven Wilkinson, Janet Collins, Deborah Austin, Aisha Ash, Precious Adams. Misty had a late start in dance, but became one of the few African-American ballerinas to be appointed as a soloist. But like those who came before her, that journey to black excellence was not easy. As a young girl living in a motel with her mother and her siblings, Misty Copeland didn't have a lot of exposure to ballet or prominent dancers with extremely humble beginnings. As Misty did not take her first dance class until she was 13 years old, considerably late to begin the art form, a true prodigy, she was dancing on point within three months of taking her first class and performing professionally in four years, a feat unheard of for any classical dancer. After two summer workshops with American Ballet Theater, by the end of the first summer, she was asked to join the ABT Studio Company. Copeland was appointed a soloist at ABT in August 2007, one of the youngest ABT dancers promoted to soloist. During her years in the Corps as the only black woman in the company, Copeland also felt the burden of her ethnicity in many ways within the dance community and contemplated a variety of career choices. Susan Fales Hill, then vice chair of ABT's board of directors, mentored Copeland. Susan introduced Copeland to black women trailblazers, who encouraged Copeland and helped her to gain perspective on her career. Not long after, Misty became a trailblazer herself, being promoted from soloist to principal dancer at American Ballet Theater on June 30th, 2015. Becoming the first African-American woman to be promoted to principal ballerina in ABT's 75-year history, Copeland's achievement was groundbreaking. For over a decade, I was the only black woman in my company. Today, I am proud to see young, talented ballerinas, young, talented brown ballerinas. That's when I am reminded of my purpose, to be for them what I didn't have as a young ballerina, a mentor, role model, someone who looks like them. Celebrity spokesperson and stage performer. She has toured as a featured dancer for Prince and appeared on reality TV shows. Misty's philanthropic efforts have helped to launch Mind Leaps Girls program in Africa and award the Misty Copeland Scholarship. Although Misty has become a role model for so many young girls in the USA, now she is reaching across the globe to help even more children. She has endorsed products and companies such as T-Mobile, Coach Inc., Dr. Pepper, Seiko, The Dan and & Company, and Under Armour. Shortly after her Under Armour endorsement, she criticized statements by Under Armour founder and CEO Kevin Plank that praised Donald Trump, stressing that her sponsor should believe in the importance of diversity and inclusion. She has written several books that include a message of empowerment for young people of color. In addition, she has narrated a documentary about her career challenges, A Ballerina's Tale in 2015. In 2015, Misty was named one of the 100 most influential people in the world by time, appearing on its cover. Among Misty's prestigious awards, she received an honorary doctorate from the University of Hartford for her contributions to classical ballet and helping to diversify the art form. She was also named one of Glamour's Women of the Year for 2015 and one of ESPN's 2015 Impact 25 athletes and influencers who have made the greatest impact for women in sports. Misty Copeland received the Distinguished Spingar Medal at the 52nd Annual Image Awards. Copeland has been quoted as saying of her accomplishments that I'm just so proud to be a part of this company's history because it is American and it represents what America is and I am that. Misty Copeland is black excellence in motion, dancing across stages and into history. <laughs>